You know, it's one of those days where you actually have to pay attention. So as you recall, uh, goodness sakes, my armor looks ridiculous. So I was saying, I can get any of the Alex's caves to generate. That actually has been fixed days ago. Turns out it has absolutely nothing to do with Alex's caves. It's 100% to do with its library. And yeah, the li- and yeah, it was the library that had the bug. The bug was fixed days ago, and I didn't even know. It should. Let me grab these maps. Oh, I forgot that was a magnetic cave. I thought that was like... Dark Hound. Let's see if we can detect anything from here. Give it time, this stuff takes for... There it is! Why is it in a winter biome? Yes! We got the magnetic caves, too. Yeah, I am going absolutely crazy fast because I have... Because I've just put on some fresh Apotheosis gear containing... Containing health, luck, and other stats. Especially speed. Priority. Speed. Priority. As well as... As well as stuck speed gem in the sockets. Which, believe it or not, you don't do... I thought for the longest time you do it in an anvil, you actually do it in a smithing table. That is a garbage gem. Considering we're already going there anyway. May as well give it a try. I somehow got a Squid Traveler's backpack. Uh... Have you... okay. Grants water breathing and night vision effects while being in water. Okay. Let me upgrade that thing. Hey, I think that's leather, the thing, the template. Gold and diamond. Anyway, that's not my focus. Although I'd really like to make an abyssal cave. I'd also want to start exploring caves down there so I can find so I can find these uh these underground cabins with the archaeology stuff and get more tablets. I think I only brought like a very small amount of food. C wild corn from Corn Delight. Ooh, that's a coal vein. There might be a diamond vein underground. Well, at least we found a mangrove swamp. I don't think Hexerai is- I don't think Hexerai has been updated yet. Ah! What- what hit me? I don't know how much of a distance, but it is a massive distance. Careful, don't go beyond the edge. Can Starbuncles be purple, or... Time down waiting for world statistics? Uh-oh. Jetpack fuel not being consumed, everything is completely frozen. So I have a bad feeling... We crashed. Internally. Yeah, I think the internal... I think the internal game logic is completely frozen. We're getting severe lag, that means we're getting terrain generation, and that's fine zo. Oh, don't dis I'm curious, what about the magnetic cave? Okay, it's that way. Also, what kind of a village is this? We have real ones. We have real cherry trees in the game now. The vanilla version. I was worried about this because we're getting fake cherry trees. There's the real one! How much time you're saving me by making wool... By, uh, making fake cherry trees out of wool. And... This is Skystone. That looks awesome! That is a ton of...
take the obsidian. I don't have much. Another one of these vents from Capona. Hummus. May as well take this B thing since we need it for the B project we're gonna do. Oh, that's good. There's a checkpoint. I found it like this. Unnamed. Oh. Powder snow. It's a lot of powder snow. Oh, I think we're getting pretty close. I think we're really close. Oh my god, that's the biggest coal vein I've ever seen. Yep, that's a coal vein, all right. Country road, take me home. Where I belong, West Virginia. Biggest coal deposit in the United States. That's a lot of source berries. Underneath this. Does Evilcraft ha have integrations? I mean, it probably does. It's got a lot of... Frostward Ring grants freezing immunity. I'll put it on for now. You can actually find these. Alex, you can actually find those tablets in the uh, Evilcraft stuff. Yeah, we got jack-o'-lanterns. Because we're visiting this village on Halloween, it generated with jack-o'-lanterns instead of regular pumpkins. And there's a... A goddess statue. Uh, we should get... We need spirit orbs because we need to upgrade our stamina. We can also upgrade our hearts, actually. You... Beefed it, didn't you? It's the other way around. We got stamina... They're called stamina vessels, the hearts, and the... Please give me the right one. We can actually bust spawners with non-silk touch tools to get spirit orbs as well, so... And I got ample amounts in my inventory, as well as basically everywhere. How much ice there is here! We could use this! We need ice for certain... We need ice for power reactors. If the Primordial Caves is in this volcano, I am going to be so happy. Okay, these are supposed to be ice spikes. This ice spike generated wrong. <laughs> and there's an Omega Ice Palace. I could actually swipe tons of ice from here. It should have tons of blue ice. Maybe we should start opening up some of these portals. Flint and steel. I just need to make a fresh... Right into a bastion. From the same place. And we get a blood moon. I wonder how the blood moon will react to the primordial cave. Forlornliness day of... This was supposed to lead me to a primordial cave. I got a forlorn cave. Their accounts were dodgy at best. I found it, but it's not the right place. I'm getting hounded by bats. That's a good sign. Right, we need to get back. So, the new version of all the mods added a couple of things. The cre- the- it added the Enderman Overhaul mod. I was staying at the Mushroom Island because of a blood moon, and I found possibly some of the cutest mobs I've ever seen. And that's the Mushroom Enderman. But also something else happened. Something most peculiar. Do you see this? All the caves are in different places now. I actually found out that the console prints the coordinates, the exact coordinates, of the cave that the, that the cave biome map finds. You can read the console log, the server console log, find the coordinates, 
place a waypoint there and you don't need the map anymore. All the existing biomes are still in the same places, like all the existing terrain generation, but now we actually need to get new new biome maps. It's hilarious when shit gets wrong. Anyway, we need another... Anyway, we need another cave tablet. Here's another cave tablet that I found in a dungeon chest. This one's for the toxic caves. Now, I need my spelunking table. I'm starting to get very proficient in this. Watch me. I'm starting to get very proficient in this. Watch me. There we go. No. Aw, oh, come on. There it is. Found it. That's it. Toxic caves. Excellent. Need to make a waypoint here. This cave is at 4107. Positive 4107. Negative 3374. And the second one I got is minus 365. Minus 4086. Yeah, like I said, the cave's been rearranged. That magnetic cave's uh, waypoint should be removed. If I could find it. Unfortunately, if I try doing this, I'm definitely going to get lost. This is as far as it zooms out. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going back to spawn. And then I'm going to start from there. I do want to get some extra swimming speed. So there's some flippers, enchanted scroll of dolphins grace, and what else? My jetpack is top is topped, so let's go. I think we'll probably kickstart our journey in the safe mode thing. As long as I okay, good. And no, they don't get mad if you look the at them. The server is lagging, and I'm thinking my computer has had enough. Wait, why use boats? We have super speed. Super speed swimming. And we hit terrain boundaries. I have a bad feeling we might these might be abyssaline caves. Oh my god, these are toxic caves! I was... Then why did I get Forlorn Hollows? I just want to briefly... I just want to briefly get a glimpse of these caves, and then I'm... out, so... But yeah, we can actually pick up this uranium. What the hell is this? Acidic Rad Rock. Oh, hold on. Oh, there are different... Ouch! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm struck with radiation. Not good. But I did find one of these settlements. Holy shit. Unfortunately, because I have radiation one, I don't have natural regenerate. Okay, so my radiation's gone, and I do have natural regeneration. So if you get radiation one, you lose your ability to you lose your ability to heal. Oh, green soylent. I think that's a radiation cure. So yeah, this is on the very edge of that specific biome, this structure. We have rusty scaffolding. I mean, we have create scaffolding, but this is... But this is a good alternative. Anything else present in this structure? Because I know there's... There's gotta be something. Rusty scrap metal as well as scrap metal plate. Those are really cool building blocks. I can look around the structure. Rusty barrel. With slam, spelunk, cinder bricks, poison potato. Okay. Anti-rad. That's a new cleeper. As soon as he gets it, as soon as he gets its attention, you're done for. You're just straight up done for. So the biome's not as dangerous as I thought it was, which is good. We have sulfur, please. Please have the same tag. I hate having to modify the ore dictionary. I better bail from this wretched place before I'm goop. Yes! There's a Towers of the Wild! 
right in that one location. I think we basically got our brief tour of there. Now it's up to the Magnetic Caves, which is 600 blocks away. Not very far. Wait, what am I carrying that's giving me radiation? Oh, it's the Radrock Uranium! That's what's giving me radiation. I actually have an idea. What if you can use radi- What if you can use the irradiated s status 1 to decrease your overall metabolism at the cost of 25% of your total speed? You consume no hunger points. Because the radiation turned off your metabolism temporarily. And two structures spawned at the same place and replaced each other. Oops. There's one of them glitches. Oh, it's right in front of my face. Yeah, these should be the magnetic caves. Oh, I just realized. Uh, this could be a this could be a problem. What's this? Oh no! Did it get replaced? Now uh, these what these should be where the magnetic caves are. Wrong. Those are the magnetic caves I'm looking for. Okay. Anyway, Galena. Beautiful, beautiful Galena. Think about taking my biz here and just mining up some Galena. Generic energized Galena. Anyway, lots of Galena. Look at how much iron is in this biome. That is a lot of iron. Look at the crystals, too. Push and pull. You know, this reminded me of that fabric mod called Heart of the Machine. I was kind of hyped for it making a comeback, but, you know. I don't think it has, yet. I haven't heard anything back. Some real beast that lot is. And this is Metal Swarf. Which is literally attracted to crystals. Ouch. Tesla bulb. Ouch. I 100% deserve that. Okay, so it makes a massive boom when you, bl when you, you know, explode it. Galena iron ore. I gotta remember to fix that stupid thing. Fixed. I absolutely love the sounds that it makes. And this is a, this is a big bone to me. The Galena ore. Because I need it in massive quantities. The only thing is, how does it ore multiply? And I believe it should follow the same tag so a mechanical squeezer can give five. I haven't been able to find any massive iron ore veins, so yeah. This is gonna help me a lot. I see you. No. Bad creeper. No! Now? Boundroid winch. And it's taking no damage whatsoever. From my little antics. Let me try a diamond sword. For some reason, it did not show my- it did not show the thing's health correctly. Here's the surface where it ends and we get a lush cave instead. That's pretty funny. Ouch! What hit me? Oh, it's you!
I bet this isn't even this is not even close to the best example of one of those caves. Ouch! Uh-oh. I think the inhabitants do not like me anymore. All oh, right, we're getting tons of these enemies because I And getting the re because it's a blood moon. Because they're considered hostile mo Yes, I got a telecore. Because they're considered hostile mobs, they're spawning in droves now. That's perfect. Yeah, we're getting a... Uh, I'm getting my ass kicked. I need health. The Boundroid Winch does not tell us how much health it has. Oh, the Magnetron has 80 health. Oh, this could be bad. So technically, it counts as a mini boss. This is the best bow I got, so. Knock it off, that hurts. Got him. Magnetron no more. I think I just ran out of sandwiches. I'm going to die. Ouch! That's Galena. I'm looking for my backpack because I can't see. A potion of night vision for 12 minutes? I didn't know I had that. Excellent. I should be able to continue looking and actually find it. Might have been magnetized somewhere. Why is there... Why did a bald eagle spawn in the inside the cave? Yeah, I don't have fish oil, so I can't tame the eagle, but I should be able to get a name tag and an anvil if they don't attract it. There we go, you're permanently in the world, and I'll come back for you later. Ouch! Why did it only deal one and a half hearts of damage? There it is! I found it! You wanna play it? Gotcha! I got it back! Let's take our biz back home. So yeah, this place is pure chaos. Just don't, just don't die. Do not die or you'll permanently lose items. Anyway, that's ample amounts of iron because I'm always out. Everything eats iron. Everything wants iron. Anyway, might as well take all this Galena with us. Because I love this block, this could be used in our, uh... I do have plans for a refined storage system. And I'm thinking about using this as part of the build. I'm not sure if it's a main building block or as an accent. The shape is pretty busy. No! My jetpack ran out. All right, I think I got my quality look at all the biomes now. Unfortunately, I'm out of uh, primordial tablets. I can't go to those caves, though I can go back here and search for ar archaeology. There's another one! Though there's spawners freaking everywhere. No! What did I do? Oh, they're hostile. Oh, it's one of these guys. Cave Endermen. Can't reach me.
Please be actual primordial caves. More toxic caves. Right here. Bingo. We got extra. Oh, we can turn the magnet back on. More toxic caves? Seriously? What the hell is this? <laughs> okay. DUDE! That's an ancient city! The deeper and darker stuff is on our grasp! That was found by complete accident. Let's do this. Yeah, we don't have to search for those. And Dark Ore, I've been looking for that too. There's another one, yes! Abyssaline Caves! Finally, something unique! There's one here. We found the Spelunking Table I did not find. Bingo, there it is. More toxic caves. Come on! And look at that. No, more toxic caves. I keep finding toxic caves. I keep finding the, uh... I keep finding the magnetic caves, but I can never find ones with the... with the primordial caves. Let it show me what I'm looking for instead of more of the same. I think I already looted this one. No, I did not. Good. Primordial Caves! That's it. We're... That's it. We're donezo. Let's vamoose! Uh, my thing is broken and I'm being hounded. Lots of fire and oak, oak slab. Hmm... This is very likely one of the... One of them, if it's burning that much, that means it's one of those that spawned in lava. Yeah, this one burned the smithereens. Loot barrels should still be in perfect condition, though. Did it burn? It might have burned, actually. Who's there? Aha! Yes! That's it! We don't need to be- We don't need to do any more searching. We got everything we need. We can have another go at those primordial caves. It's about- Time. Okay, let's finally get a spelunking table and actually get the rest of those tablets. Figured out. We got the abyssal tablets, the forlorn tablets, the primordials. You already got the magnetic and the uh, toxic. Why is the toxic so common? Yeah! We got it. Let's put this all together and... Got it. Currently in the searching process. Uh, let's... Got it. Nice. Codex. I already got the primordial... Primordial caves? It's... Southwest. Dude! I can't believe it found one that far away. 9,000 blocks away. <laughs> so, you know what? I am not going to. And for the record, yes, we actually need to go to the nether. Because there's no way in hell I'm going to be able... To, there's no way in hell the file size on the world file is going to be way too big by the time I get there. So yeah, this primordial cave... 
we actually have to go to negative 1,000, positive 500 in the nether, and then make and then make a portal, and then we are golden. The problem is I don't have obsidian. Perfect. We better mark this on the map. This is vital. This could actually get us... This could actually get us all the netherite we need. I'm gonna be happy if this portal leads directly... ...to the cave. No if, ands, or buts. Here we go! Don't crash. Up or down. Now this is gonna be an issue. I can't... There it is! Very down low, actually. As long as I don't make a nuisance of myself, I think this... We did it. We've done it. This place is absolutely beautiful. This is it. We just need to find a good place to get that... Get that waystone in, and we can come back... And we can come here at any time. Thing open real fast. There we go. We're here. Chewy, we're home. Ancient leaves. Ah, oh, the jungle logs. Dang it. Oh well. Pewin. Okay, I got a branch. Is that a sapling? Pine nuts. I put them on the ground? Or something? Not the branch. Oh, that's the sapling. There goes nothing. Good, I have no food. Oh, they are so... Super weak to arrows. Perfect. And distant sound of the undead. And I got myself some ridiculously good dinosaur chops. So if I cook these, yes, cook dinosaur chop. And if and we can turn these into dinosaur nuggets. And if I whitelist these, by the way, pay close attention. I'm gonna hurt myself from fall damage, and and you best pay attention. Every time that stack changes, the dinosaur nugget itself changes. I don't know how mega this is, but I can safely say it's pretty darn mega. Oh, that's... Oh, that's so cool! Okay, we got some spears and some other things. An apotheosis applies stats. A primitive club. That. Oh my god, is that a. F That's a vanilla frog. They actually spawn here. We have an amber monolith, which can actually respawn mobs when you kill every last one of them. If a dinosaur nugget is taken from the chest, it may enter a relaxed state. And uh, it can be approached and fed a serene salad. How do we make a serene salad? So we need a fiddlehead. Dude, I think they're stuck. They're so cute though. It needs to be a generic chest. It cannot be one of those that... Uh, not be one of those decorative chests. She's rather unusually spiky for one. Oh, he took one! Oops. And... Uh, he especially enjoyed it. There we go! 
a Valum Raptor. She's not gonna come with me between waypoints, so... So, if we want to get her... If, she, if we want her to come with us... Oh, for goodness sakes. Seriously. Alright, fine. Let's get a crafting table and sort this. Now I can make that... Alright, Mob Yoinker. I should have the experience to take this guy. There we go. Take her with us, and then... Alright, let's at least take the stuff and go home. We have been... We have been wandering around... We have been wandering around this wild goose chase for way too long. I think... I think it's time to wrap everything up. She is gonna be called Miss Webra Big Brooch. And Miss Big Brooch? Howdy. I think we've basically had enough time for this episode. It's currently 2 a.m. And you gotta remember, I have a life outside of this. Anyway, would like to say thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time, where we'll actually get to bees.